I'm delighted to be joined by Aram Sahakian, the general manager here at the EOC. You know, things change on a day-to-day -day basis. Where are we now? What are you working towards? What are you dealing with? Where are your challenges? And where are the areas in which you're optimistic? So we're fine-tuning and uh, getting ready for uh, what's to come, which is a surge in the numbers that's what we keep hearing and the way we're pre preparing for that is is uh, the hospital surge shelters meals to seniors uh, PPEs equipment to our first responders uh, basically adding to our uh, strategic stockpile to ensure that we're ready for at least three months to four months hopefully it's not gonna go that far but uh, as an emergency manager you look at the worst case scenario but uh, all indicators is is better than it, than what it was a couple of we weeks ago as far as numbers and when we're going to get out of this. Are you so, comfortable with supplies? Uh, it's challenging. Most of this stuff is coming from overseas to us. Uh, but we are receiving them slowly but surely, but we need much more. I know as part of this, you're looking at the other side and you're looking at what will happen after the crisis component is done. And, and you've said very clearly that Los Angeles is a city of business, and business going in and business going out, and how important that is. What is it about business that is so essential here in Los Angeles, small business in particular? Uh, you have over 500,000 small businesses in the city of Los Angeles. It's the lifeline of this economic engine, no matter how you look at it. So we are uh, also planning the recovery. Uh, we have a team right now uh, working on that alone, on the local assistance center, on uh, preparing small business loans, how to assist the small businesses and communities that are in need of these loans. And so we have a whole team concentrating on this effort right now. How is the city leveraging some of the resources? You just mentioned that you've got a team. Is there definitely a plan in regards to how, after all of this is over, right. businesses will be supported by the emergency management department? Yes, yeah, so the local assistance centers comes into the picture. So we it's a one-stop shop, basically. We will establish these centers out in, in the communities, in the business communities. We will have close to 80, 85 different agencies from local levels all the way to the federal level. And we've had this post fires where a business can walk in and we will walk them through A to Z, the process on how to reestablish themselves and, and stand up again. And that's anything and everything from loans to insurance to uh, uh, employees, anything they need. Because there has been a very substantial problem with the supply chain, you know, both what we receive here to Los Angeles and what we send out of Los Angeles, as well as what we use within the city of Los Angeles. And, and we're in contact with, with all the sec sectors of the supply chain. We're in very close contact. We talk to them on a daily basis. So the grocery sector is fine. Right. Uh, the, the, the issue they had, their truck drivers, some of them were part of the vulnerable population, over 65. They addressed that. The only supply chain that that's seeing some difficulty when I say only two of them the pharmaceutical industry and then the medical supply chain uh, so they, they're having their challenges obviously and they're addressing them as we speak but I think recovery would be quicker than a lot of people think thank you for all of the hard work that you're doing and thank you Rick for interpreting us today and keep up the good work I really look forward to talking to you in the future thank you so much appreciate it